Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So real quick before we get into today's subject matter, I just want to talk about this painting a little bit. Uh, I've, I've been trying to avoid painting faces quite a bit, and it's just like a weak spot of mine. So I was like, you know what? I really like Goya. I think I should paint some more faces. Let's get that under lock and key. Let's make sure that we're actually getting it, because uh, shying away from it's not doing me any good. So uh, let's let's do a little bit of a, a large thumbnail sort of painting for something that I might want to do later uh, in, in Goya's style, but do it of a face. That way I can feel confident in doing faces. And I'm pretty happy about how this turned out. It's it's gruesome. It's messed up. It, it looked good in the kitchen, don't you think? I'm going to ask the wife if she wants to hang it up in the kitchen like Goya hung his black series. Um, anyway, that's enough about this painting. Let's talk about today's thing. So the other day I was streaming and we got into the subject matter that I think if we've already discussed several times here, uh, sort of the crux of this entire channel and whether or not video games are an art. And uh, I've noticed in the comments as well, some stuff that people have said. And I, I just wanted to like bring up something that I, I think is important. So when I made this channel, I wanted to do the kind of stuff that I want to do. And what that is, is the kind of stuff that I would personally want to enjoy. And that's stuff that challenges me mentally in order to get me going, to get me thinking about art and get me to do uh, new art or, or try out new things in art or what have you. Um, I feel like there's a lack of that. I talked about that in the last video about how a lot of the, the artists on YouTube are doing kind of gimmicky stuff. And that's just because it's easier to repeat. I'm not getting into that whole subject matter today, but um, something that I've noticed and something that I, I want to talk about, because we were talking about video games and whether or not they were art in chat the other day when I was streaming, and um, I just want to say, like, one thing that I really, really want to have happen with this channel is for this to spark conversation debate and have you guys really try and uh, work things out in your own head because I, you know I heard an insult once and it was along the lines of like um, yeah that's a good opinion do you hear that from a youtuber and you know yeah I'm a youtuber so like you know uh, I, I don't want you guys to take what I say a hundred percent I want you guys to uh, think about it on your own and see if it drives with you and if it doesn't why not and if it does why does it are, are the things that I'm saying actually like something that you agree with because I'm making good points or what? I, the One of the most important things that I've, I've realized in life is that people of authority, people who say that they're of authority, people who, uh, you know, espouse the ability to have authority are people, you know? Every single politician, every single religious leader, every single person who has ever lived has to poop and eat and, uh, you know, all of that. They are human. They are normal. They have a functioning brain just the same as you. And they can have mistakes. They can make mistakes. And a lot of the stuff I say on this channel is also opinions. So some of the stuff that I can say is right for me, but maybe not for you. So... One thing I really want to get going in the comments, and this isn't just for SEO reasons, is if you disagree with me, and every now and then people do, don't just say I'm wrong. Or if you agree with me, don't just say I'm right. Explain your reasonings. Like, because if I'm wrong, and you know it, and you come up with a really good rebuttal, and you can throw that down in the comments, I'm 100% down for that. I want to be wrong. Because I know I don't know everything. I know I'm wrong about stuff, but I just don't know that I am. That's the, the scary part about knowing some stuff is that you still can be wrong about stuff, right? Like, I, I'm not an expert. I'm really not. I'm just a guy who's been doing this for a while and I'd like to get better. And so people challenging me, hopefully in the same way that I'm challenging you to, to think about the things that you're hearing, the things you're uh, saying, should be something that you should be uh, doing on a daily basis, not just with art channels uh, like mine, but also with everything. Um, people are wrong. People are wrong a lot of the time. People say dumb crap a lot. That's what the internet's for, I'm pretty sure. Let's give the example of our video games art is the Avengers series art. We've talked about this before and I have my opinions. I think that they're both art, you know? art in the, the same way th that maybe not a very interesting thing is 
art in the case of, of the Avengers. And, you know, there are some video games that are at the level of the Avengers, and there's some that are at the level of, like, The Godfather or, you know, um, Citizen Kane or something. But immediately when I say that, I see people push back anytime I say it with, no, they're not. And then I ask, okay, well, why do you think that? Because that that's fine to think. That's an opinion you can have. But let's have a discussion on it if you're gonna you're gonna say I'm wrong. And I think that you know this is something that we can have a a, a good banter and back and forth on and improve as human beings. If they're not art, what is the definition of art? What is the limits of art? Uh, it, does art need to not make money? Because that excludes some of the most famous paintings and, and works of music and uh, stuff of all time. Does a piece of art need to be hung in a gallery? Does a gallery count as art? Someone was asking me that the other day. If a museum counts as art, and I said yes. Mainly because the style and function of museums have changed over time. You know, we've gone from the old school, uh, lavish uh, style, baroque inspired museums that you know had all this stuff going on to these white wall museums where the idea is to not detract any at all but the fact that the walls are white should be a key that there's something going on that they decided that the correct color to display behind every single work of art is white clear nothing you know why is why is white the default there it could very easily be black you know so if you come up with a definition for example why video games aren't art, what art is, and a definition of art that excludes video games, apply it to other things. Does that apply to chairs? Does that apply to all known accepted works of art? Because if it doesn't, then there's a problem with your premise. There's a problem with your selection, you know? This all goes back to one of the first videos on this channel where I talked about the four things that I feel like you really need to have in order to be a good artist. And you don't need to be good at all of them, but you need to be able to have some idea of how to deal with the, all the four things and you can go and watch that video if you want the full story but you know I talked about finances in a previous video I talked about the mechanics of art and I think this one needs to be the video where we're talking about uh, what's the point why are we doing this you know and it's one of the things like I said that I really want this channel to be about is if I'm wrong that's 100% okay with me. And you can still watch this if I'm wrong. And hopefully you can explain your opinion and improve me as hopefully I'm improving you. That we can have these discussions and we can talk about art. We can talk about what these things mean and why, you know, for instance, NFTs don't feel like they really have the same artistic integrity as, uh, I don't know, a child's drawing that you put up on a refrigerator. Like, is that a thing you believe? Why? Let's let's have these discussions in a full way. If I just go, I don't think that realism is important. I think abstract art is more important. These are videos that I've done in the past, and people have said, I disagree, and your premise is wrong. Why? Tell me why, and let's work this out, because I want to learn as much as you want to learn. And hopefully, something in this video was helpful. It's a bit rambly. Maybe it's just me getting stuff off my chest, but... Uh, anyway, if it was helpful to you, and if you think that the videos that I mentioned will be helpful, you can, you know, search through my channel a little bit and find those. But, um, yeah, leave me a comment on what you think about these things, and uh, on the videos, probably, more so than this one. But I hope that this has been uh, inspiring for you, and hopefully this was helpful to you to um, maybe step back and realize that I'm an idiot sometimes. And I am wrong. I just don't know about what yet but I'm sure I'm wrong about something. Anyway, if this was helpful to you, uh, you can always subscribe. And also, if it was super helpful to you, you can always throw a couple bucks at me at patreon.com slash revscarecrow. Thank you to everyone at all tiers, but uh, extra special thanks to the people at the $5 tier or more. Um, that's where I'll say your name in the credits and you get access to the, the Discord. Uh, starting with my mom and dad. Thank you guys, I love you. Thank you Wapfu. Thank you Top Hound Door. Thank you, Tom K. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, The Drunk 2010. Thank you, Terry Maverick. Thank you, Snout Punk. Thank you, Skelecorgi. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Mortis Nottis. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. 
Thank you, Bubba Bear. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Ants! <laughs> there we are. Um, hopefully, this video was helpful to you. It was mostly just me rambling, but um, let's work together to become better artists and better people as a result. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.